So <clears throat> we're descending down right now and uh, I'm so tired. I probably walked at least, or we all walked at least minimum 10 kilometers a day. And uh, we will be out here a total of five full days. I mean, we still have three, three more hours left and it's already two o'clock. So uh, we started walking this morning at like 6.30. And it's just been non-stop. I think going down is harder on my knees than anything. Uh, just uh, very weak. And uh, I mean, at least going up, you're just out of breath. And yeah, you're tired, but it's like you can stop when you go up, you know, and take a break because it's m harder work. But when you're going down, it's like you can't stop. You just keep going and <laughs> going and... Uh, the, it's just really hard on my knees. Um, taking literally like baby steps here. And uh, so, anyways, uh, gonna go back and I hope that, uh, you know, see about this money situation. I mean, I'm not giving them no more than 150 because that's what he even told me at the beginning. He said, 100, that's fine. Don't worry about money, blah, blah, blah. But regardless, I'm going to be giving a lot of stuff to them, you know, uh, my cookware that I bought from Decathlon and uh, give them a solar panel that they need, you know, to charge your power bank or something and uh, give them some socks and clothes that I had. I already gave the other village so much stuff, uh, crazy amount of stuff. The first village in the north, I gave them uh, paint to paint for the kids and gave them some toys for the kids, like balls and stuff, and uh, gave them uh, some magazines, you know, to read, look through. I think that's a really good idea if you're, you know, ever going to villages or something, some magazines, you pick them up for free, and uh, they're really amazing, you know, because they're all pictures. So everyone can uh, sit there and go through them and get ideas, you know. I mean, some, these people don't, you know, um, like, don't leave their village. Don't leave their city providence. I mean, like, these five people here have never been to Simreep. So sad. Never been in an airplane. Never seen an airplane. You know, I mean, these, the villages, you know, and a magazine will give people inspirations like, oh, wow, look at that. And, oh, look at this house. And, and oh, look at these people. They're beautiful. And, you know, uh, it, it, it inspires people a lot, you know, to do this. And, uh, you know, so I just recommend, you know, some. I gave them some pens and markers, too, and paper. Kids always love that kind of stuff. Uh, some dice, uh, dominoes, uh, many things, you know, uh, some cookware stuff, cups. I mean, literally, you can buy this stuff for cheap, but to them, it's, you know, means the world. And fuck Red Cross and all them bullshit, uh, uh, charities. Uh, they totally rip people off, you know? I try to do a GoFundMe account. So people can send me money and uh, then I can really help out village people because I'm always constantly staying with the villages and uh, you know I try to put my money towards the village people because that's the heart of the country you know that's a real community and uh, <clears throat> so anyways yeah the, the GoFundMe didn't really work out. Two people gave me $20 each, you know? I mean, it's not even worth drawing that out of the bank account over here because they charge you, like, my bank charges uh, what uh, 2%, and then on top of that, I get a $5 service charge for out of the country, and then the bank over here charges me another $5. So it's not even worth it, you know? 
Uh, so I just gave the money back to the people. You know, I told them to uh, close their account out. You know, it's just sad because, you know, I mean, people act like, you know, I just come out here and party. Yeah, okay, I do. That's my money, though. You know, and uh, it's, it's struggle enough, you know, to just buy 20 or $40 worth of stuff for the village people. And I wish people would help me out more, you know. I mean, I can do so much more to for the world, but, you know, I'm one person. I'm only one person. Look at these trees, how massive they are. Beautiful. Hopefully they don't uh, chop them down. Soon probably will but you know I mean I'm, I'm an inspiration to people and I tell people a lot about things you know about like plastic and plastic is oil you know I'm like it's oil gasoline and some of them understand and some don't but many of the countries over here are banning the straws and uh, only giving them plastic bags on like you know one or two days a week and you know, it's going to make a big, big deal. Because all you see on the roads and stuff is plastic. Plastic is just another business made by the oil companies, you know. And it's a huge, huge business. And uh, it might be a huge business, but it's such a suffering on the world. You know, with pollution, people burning it. And uh, just litter and just everything. Just You know, out here looks beautiful. No trash. No plastic, no nothing. Oh, coming up, here's a can. But, you know, I mean, way out here you still see things. You know, it's... Uh, like I said, I try to help out, do what I can with these people out here. But... We'll see how much he charges me. I'm hoping, you know, I'm willing to pay a hundred. I think that's more than fair because I bought a whole bunch of food out here and I'm giving him at least $50 worth of stuff. I'm gonna be giving him medical supplies, the solar panels and cookware, clothes, uh, a hammock and uh, what some rope and stuff I have and tape and everything else I have that I brought out here, you know, but uh, so we'll see So I just wanted to make a quick end of the video because we're Almost down and I'm just listening to some music and stuff trying to keep my energy up because It's so I'm so tired. I need to go to Nam Penh and get like a three dollar massage and uh get like four hours to, <laughs> for like a whole week straight and uh they have a carl's jr burger place i'm not really up for fast food especially commercialized but uh i don't know either that or i'm gonna look on trip advisor and see if i can find a good burger place because i'm in the mood for some burger and some good french fries you know we all we've been eating out here is noodles and rice and some canned stuff. Oh, he had, they had pork. <laughs> These guys had pork out here. And eating it until today. Five days. After like the third day, I was like, no, nah, I don't want that. His stuff starting to stink. And oh, it was bad. <laughs> These guys are have iron stomachs. Crazy. And iron feet, man. I don't see how they've done it. And all these sandals. Look at these blue sandals. Oh, up and down, up and down, crazy. And, uh, but I mean, they live out here. This is their life, you know, but even still, I would, I've slipped and fell so many times when on bald shoes and stuff. And, uh, no, I'm afraid of, I've twisted my ankle a dozen times off of bald shoes. You know, I have to have pretty good shoes for my feet or no shoes. But out here and all these sticks and stuff is uh, pretty painful with no shoes. So anyways, I'm going on 10 minutes. You know, I have so much work to do when I get back. I wanna make a bunch of films. I mean, this was one hell of an epic and adventure. You know, so follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is uh, 
Brother Looney. It's B R O Looney together. Uh, I have a blog. Uh, you just type in forest, like the forest out here. Destiny, but with an E, not a Y. D E S T I N E. Forest Destiny. I'm the only one named that. Uh, that will be my author name. Pretty much I got that name because my destiny has been forced onto me. And I love the forest. I'm always in the forest. You know? So, it has a good ring to it. You know? My uh, destiny has been forced onto me. And that's why I'm out here traveling. Trying to do the best I can. While I'm young, alive, and still in good shape. So, signing off, sign up for my website, my YouTube channel. There will be many, many, many more to come. Okay, take care. Bye.